So, in this era of war, the era also means how we speak. What we say. What we do. How we accomplish through our voice the rule of the future. Don't shy away from rule. Rule has different meanings about it. The rule of the future of where you are determines on the voice and the communication you carry. And that's what I want to activate from my part of being able to be here with you. You carry a voice that will rebuild and restore the tabernacle of David throughout Pennsylvania and will cause America to awaken. It's amazing. Just amazing. The sound you carry penetrates into places that it couldn't have penetrated before. And we communicate out of covenant and out of vision. Provision comes from vision for the future. That's why Jehovah Jireh came down, revealed himself in a way he had never revealed himself before. He said, Abraham, I have seen your faith. I have seen you willing to lay your future on the woodpile of worship. You knew how to order the worship that you had been learning how to worship since you came out of Ur of the Chaldees. And then you placed on that woodpile your vision, your only son for the future, Isaac. You'd already given up Ishmael. I watched you by faith go through that testing. So much has been given up. But then there comes a time where you take and lay that and only that which can bring forth the future that God has on the worship woodpop. And you have to say, Lord, I've done my part. It's all up to you. It's letting go of those reins. And God came down. And he said, I'm Jehovah Jireh. I'm going to show you where provision has been hiding right over here. And then we're going to lift your vision for the future off the wood pile. And then I'm going to do my next part. I will repeat the prophecies that have been given. Just like he did in Genesis 22. But then I'll add to it the prophecies now that Isaac has secured for the future. The Lord says this moment unlocks the prophetic for the next season. For Scranton, for Pennsylvania, for you, and for all of America. Let's all stand up. Now lift your hands to the Lord. He knows what you're carrying into this season ahead. He knows the voice. No matter how simple you think your voice is, if you can utter, he's got something you need for you to utter. You'll either know how to repeat what has been uttered or you'll know how to speak what needs to come forth 
in agreement with him for the future. I loose this prophetic anointing here in Scranton. Now put your hand on somebody and tell them we need you. We need your gift. We need the wood pile of worship from the past and then it needs to be met today in a new way for the future. Father, we thank you. From heaven, you said Scranton. And Father, Scranton responded to you. And Father, people came to be a part of what you said here. And Lord, we send them with a new commissioning out to say what they need to say and do what they need to do. Lord, we see this movement advancing. Now, I want to leave something here for Scranton. Ancient keys, and you keep it here because from this day forward, there's an unlocking. And the Lord said, this city holds a double gate of resistance. And the Lord said, you'll unlock the double portion and it will be brought forth throughout this whole territory. Lord, we loose it now in Jesus' name. <laughs> 